the lady from Ankara. International Affair. The lady from Ankara. The lady. Hi, today I'm going to take another look at trying to sign into a Google account when I've forgotten a password, at least trying to recover it. So I'm going to start at YouTube. You can start on any Google products page where you have a sign in option. I'm going to click sign in at the top right hand side. I'm going to enter the email address that I'm trying to sign into or rather the email address of the Google account I'm trying to sign into. I'm going to click on next. And then because I don't know the password and can't enter it and then click next, I'm going to use forgot password. And I'm being told here to use one of my eight digit backup codes. Now this is this eight digit backup code thing is a feature of two step verification. So this tells me without it being mentioned that this particular Google account is two step verified. Now, two step verification is to um, add an extra level of security when you're signing into a Google account and you don't want anybody else to to sign into your Google account, maybe if they know your password. So you could have the setup whereby in order to get beyond having entered the password and actually get to the, the Google account itself, you also have to enter an eight digit backup code, which you can generate download and print off and keep away from your device. Now this is a really important tip. Too many of us keep them on the device that we're trying to recover access to. And if that happens to be an Android phone and you can't even get to your Google account in order to see the codes, you are basically um, lost without any hope of recovery. So this particular Google account, as I say, is has the option for two-step verification. And that means that the eight digit backup code could also be helpful in recovery, not just securing access, but also with recovering access. Let's say I don't have my backup codes because I never, gen gen uh, I never printed them off and this is a new computer and I don't have access to the old one where they are. So I'm going to try another way. And I'm being told that I can receive a verification code to the, my recovery phone number, which I have to confirm by entering it below. Let's say I don't have access to that. So I'm going to try another way. And basically Google now say, well, you've not been able to enter one of your eight digit backup codes. You've not been able to use your phone number. Therefore, you're going to have to try again. Try again to sign in, answer as many questions as you can. Use a device you're signed in with before and choose a familiar Wi-Fi network such as at home or at work. Now, if you've watched the previous videos, you'll know that the the the, the answer as many questions question at the top here is is rather generic because we are not really being asked questions. We are being asked to enter details of recovery email addresses or phone numbers. So those are not really security questions. You know, there are situations where you could be enter your last remembered password. So that would be answering a question. So it is a bit vague, it's a bit generic and it has to cover every scenario. So don't be too hung up on that. The user familiar device thing, that can be really important. But remember that as soon as you factory reset a device, it becomes a new device as far as Google is concerned. So that is something that to bear in mind here and the choose a familiar Wi-Fi network such as at home or, or, or work. It's not just the Wi-Fi network, it's also your geolocation. So there are two things that play together here and that can be helpful. What I would say is that usually one or only one of the three is not sufficient to get you back in. So again, as before, if you absolutely cannot proceed and you try again and you come to the same page and the outcome is the same you may you may try waiting seven days as I mentioned before in the previous video anecdotally that could work it might not and the ultimate and the final 
answer to that is, um, or the final outcome would be that you may just have to accept that the Google account is lost to you. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. And um, again, I will. what I will do is I will give you the, the link to Google's tips page, which gives more detail on this particular set of three questions here or three points that are made by Google. And hopefully that will help jog some, some your memory and, and maybe you will even find that forgotten password because ultimately that could really help you. So thank you for listening and goodbye.